Good morning, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, if you don't know. Um, I'm so excited to finally do my morning, get ready with me, AM routine. Um, I do work full time, so it's really hard to do this on a work day. So it's my day off, it is beautiful outside. So I wanted to show you my morning routine. I do wanna get started, so first thing I do in the morning, I literally get up, I'm super OCD about my body uh, hygiene, uh, body moisture, all that. So the very first thing I do is I take my Cetaphil moisturizing cream and some kind of thicker oil. Um, this is almond and jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is my favorite oil for your body. I mean, it's amazing, amazing benefits. So I mix the cream and the lotion literally all over my body. The only other thing I did, you can obviously see my hair is in a ponytail. I uh, just put my, uh, what is this? Uh, rosemary and mint scalp and hair oil. I've been having issues. I work at hospitals, so my scalp gets super dry. Just uh, going hospital to hospital because I'm an agency worker. And my, I mean, it just beats up my scalp. So I've been using a couple of different products. I use the Way scalp. And I mean, nothing's my favorite just yet. So I do that. Um, I have not washed my face. I have not brushed my teeth. I want to do everything on camera. The next thing I do um, is deodorant. Okay, so I do want to talk about deodorant. I do not wear deodorant at night. Girl, you do not need deodorant at night. And in the morning, this is what I do. I just take some baby wipes. I mean, sometimes when I wipe, they do turn brown. I obviously got my little spray tan on last night. But I just wipe just to kind of feel refreshed, you know. Because I ain't got time to do that in the morning, man. Take a full-on shower? No, ma'am. So I just wipe. Yeah, I've been gosh, just using baby powder for years, probably 16 years now I just and I have tried non-aluminum deodorant for me working on my job picking people up I mean rolling people I'm on my feet 12 hours a day sometimes 16 and I need my deodorant to work so today I'm using the secret dove you know it's the only deodorant that I feel keeps up with me have got into the native sprays i always use the spray deodorant um it just gives it that little extra mm. this is real watery though it's like trying to spray myself in the face lord it's like straight water sometimes also i wanted to point something else out my neck yes my neck is busted okay let me tell you what happened uh two weeks ago if you know me, the last six months, I have made a transition to where most of my skincare products are medical grade. There are a few that are not. Um, most of my face masks aren't medical grade. But uh, I bought two new sunscreens, right? And all of a sudden, my neck started breaking out. I couldn't figure out what it was. And I started going through my products, testing, uh, leaving some of my products off. But because I religiously put sunscreen on, religiously, girl, there's like no ifs, ands, and buts. I will be covered in sunscreen. So that was the last thing that I thought was doing this. I didn't even consider it, but God, it was. So I stopped using that sunscreen and it is healing up. So when you have a reaction like this, your skin is dry flaky it's scarring in a way you know and when i tan the dha which you know tan and process uh it holds on to anything dry so it sticks onto my dry patches and it looks horrible but girl once i wash my face hopefully it'll look a little better but uh yeah let's get to it so this is my tatcha rice wash i use this morning and night uh in the night i always do a double cleanse but i've tried a couple different cleansers i just haven't found uh, a 
cleanser that I've completely sold on. I do want to try the Tour Enzyme uh, cleanser. I You only use that a couple times a week, but thinking of purchasing that, I've used quite a few different samples and I do enjoy that. But I am still kind of looking for an everyday cleanser. I tried the Dr. Barber Sturm, but it just wasn't enough for my skin. But let's get started. Uh, this is a great cleanser. Overall, real gentle, but you still feel clean at the same time. I normally wash my face for a good minute, minute and a half, just so I get everything, especially hard. I'm trying to combine the spray tan so it doesn't look so splotchy, especially on my neck. But yes, I get my neck, I get behind my ears. Rinse. I do use uh, towels. All my towels, before I put a towel on my face, it is freshly clean or stored away in my cupboard. Um, I will never use a towel on my face that I've used as a hand towel that's been sitting out. My towels are clean and I've never had issues with them. I'm going to do my chest routine. Um, I started using my Drunk Elephant um, B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I was using this on my face, but since my transition to mostly medical grade, I do not waste product. This is an overall really good product. It really is. You see why it's blurry. I just do about three or four nice pumps. I always try to take real good care of my chest, my decollete, because those show aging just as quick as your face. So I'm going to uh, do my little hyaluronic acid and B5 serum from SkinCeuticals. I do a full little bag full. In Suticles, it's a really nice brand. The thing about them, they're just, they're not fun, in my opinion. Like a lot of brands like Atour and Augustina Spader, they're fun. Skin Suticles is just, eh. But they have really good product. I'm also gonna go into my Kate Somerville Total Repair. Again, I use this on my face. I really did like this product, but onto my chest. I'm almost out of this, so I do like the bottle, how it's just a little pump. Kate Somerville is a really nice brand as well. They have this new uh, vitamin C mask. Oh, you already know I'm about to get that. I'm addicted to masks. I actually have a video that I'm going to film with all my masks. I use the face mask every single night. So now is my LMS Biotech Skin Energizing Day Cream. I use this in the night cream religiously. Every day, every single day. I had backups on backups, but then they discontinued this. And this is actually before I went medical grade. So uh, because they discontinued it, I just started using it on my chest. I hate that when you feel like you are so happy with a product you use it every day and then all of a sudden they discontinue it it's like at least replace it with something you know something close but that's why i wasn't real happy with lms after that all right next is my shishado vital perfection uplifting and firming day emulsion this does has spf of 30. i just use about two pumps of that Sometimes I'd be forgetting, but I do bring this on my back. And I use my sunscreen towards the end. All right, I just washed my hands. So I'm gonna start with my Lamer tonic. 
I love this. This definitely prepares my skin. I just, I've always kind of used my hands. I used to use a cotton pad, but might as well. I do bring this down all the way to my neck. This is my La Mer Tonic Water. These two are definitely staples. I will continue to use these for quite some time. It's just so beautiful. Your skin just feels, I don't even know how to explain it. Just perfect with this. Uh, next is my Augustinus Bader. This is my last essence tonic. This is uh, the essence. And so Augustinus Bader is known for their patent of the TFC8, which, correct me if I'm wrong, is trigger factor. I forget. But uh, I mean, Augustinus Bader is an amazing brand. I've loved every single one of their products. Uh, I pretty much have all their skincare products, um, except like the eyebrow and lash enhancement. Yeah, my lashes look a, kind of a mess, but I'm going in a couple days to get them redone. Same with the others. I'm just going to pat that on. This just prepares my skin for the serums. Sometimes if I feel, because for the next couple steps, I need my face slightly wet. So if I feel like my face is dry, I make sure I just add a little bit more essence or I'll go in with my uh, osmosis peptide activating mist, which just, also get your skin ready for serums because serums do <clears throat> absorb in your skin with a slight moisture so the serum i have been loving is this neogenesis recovery they use this on burn victims this is amazing for cellular regrowth i mean it's an amazing serum i just use one nice pump it's a gel-like texture. This is what got me into uh, stem cells and growth. Well, I've been into growth factors for a while, but stem cells, I got into my osmosis stem factor. I just do a big pump of that. I do give my skin proper time for it to absorb I, some Products absorb quicker than others, but I've been doing this exact routine for over a month now. So I'm confident in my application of each product. So I love absorb. Probably this is, I know I say I love most of my products, but my tour is my absolute favorite everything about this brand is luxury the bottle everything i mean the texture on these products this is the hyaluronic acid activator i do two pumps So normally, I kind of forgot, I get these two things set up, but talking to the camera. So this is my Noble Panacea. This is probably my second favorite brand out of all these. Uh, this is the Absolute Incense Renewal Serum. And this is my uh, Noble Panacea, the exceptional vitamin C booster. So what Noble Panacea has done, they have, uh, create a product that is 10,000 times smaller than a skin cell. So their product can deliver its ingredients into a specific part 
in the skin. I mean, the science is amazing. You really need to go into it. So I, in the packaging's nice uh, because they're in individual packets. The shelf life is a lot longer. So I, normally I do this before because I do my hyaluronic acid, then I immediately put this on. Um, when you first order from Nobel Panacea, they send you this little cutter thing, which is cool. All right, and since now my skin is pretty much dry, I use a peptide activating mist from Osmosis. I just gave about three to five sprays. Nice and damp. Okay. This one's the uh, Ultimum. They have three different lines. They have the Ultimum. They have uh, one that's for skin brightening. Um, I mean, I want to try everything from this company. I've already bought um, the refill for my night balm. Okay, and I just mix those two products. And pipe that in. I go in is my La Mer, the concentrate. Lord, this is such a beautiful product. The texture of this is so different. So it's like a gel consistency, right? I just apply whatever's on the little spoon. I don't know what you call that. So, um, that's a little more than normal, but oh wow. So when you apply it, it, <clears throat> it ends up feeling like a powder. It goes on as a gel and dries down to this powdery like finish. It's interesting. The next, I go into my Skin Medica, the TNS um, Recovery Complex. I just got into this about a month ago, and I do enjoy it. Like I said, I'm really big into stem factors, skin cells. This has human stem, stem cells in it. And because I'm bougie, I got the advanced formula as well. So there is a little difference between these two. I do use both of them and I will continue to use both of them. Major anti-aging benefits. There is two different serums if you could see that. So you do want to mix this before you put this on your face. I just mix that on my hand. product is the Revision DEJ Daily Boosting Serum. So you do need to shake this product. What I love about this product, it, it supports your skin's natural collagen and elastin. And it also scientifically proven to strengthen your skin barrier. And it's definitely a thinner uh, serum. And I just wasted some, that's depressing. So the Augustinus Bader Serum. I definitely need another one of these. You're supposed to use, oh, that might be the last. I know, it's on its way. Should have ordered it sooner. Just pop that in. And because I had to match, I got the uh, little eye cream. I do like this eye cream. Before uh, my two eye creams I use currently, I use uh, the Shiseido Vital Perfection Line eye cream. 
it was the only eye cream that helps me with my fine lines and ever since i've been using the augustinus bitter in the la mer eye cream i mean amazing results amazing i have very little fine lines um but at the same time your skincare goes so much farther beyond products it goes on to what you eat how you sleep at night i mean if you're a side sleeper you sleep on your stomach you're a lot more prone to uh puffiness in your face i sleep like a damn vampire i sleep on my back just to help with any type of puffiness and i have seen results so it works for me i don't know but i just pat that Make sure my eyelash is still looking good. At this time, I usually, I do take a little breaks. I let my skin soak in all the serums. Next, we're gonna go into the oils, but I just make sure everything's evenly distributed. Okay, so I did give my skin a little break just to melt all the serums together just to make sure my skin has absorbed everything it needs to absorb and actually so the next thing i use is the skin suitables vitamin c the ce and ferulic that's just a classic vitamin c from skin suitables uh from what i understand this is actually the original vitamin c um i mean it's just a great vitamin c um the vitamin c is definitely stable uh, it's just overall really nice serum and it does state that it wants to be applied on dry skin so i do make sure my skin's nice and dry i use uh six to seven drops the smell isn't too horrible i just hate anything like i understand not everything needs fragrance i do agree but if something smells so terrible because it's non-fragrance and I, I can't use it like a lot of the sunday riley oils i, I can't stand putting that on my face because i could smell it real sensitive to things that smell horrible <laughs> and i mean i just if I continue to smell it, I have to wipe off my whole face and I just can't do it. So if it smells horrible, I, I can't use it. I do prefer fragrance in my products. I really do. So next, I immediately go on with my Dr. Barber Sturm, uh, the Better Be Niacinamide. I am waiting in the mail for a refill on this. I do a good couple drops from the pipette. I usually just take my hands to move it around and then I generally just pat, pat it in. My main oil, my main face oil is my Augustinus Bader oil. Um, it's a real, it's in between a light and a heavy oil. It's not greasy at all. It um, soaks in real nice. I deck definitely recommend it and if you haven't noticed my skin is definitely dry I do have combination skin but generally my skin is dry so my skin needs so much moisture if I was to just put on a toner and moisturizer my skin would be dry in sight one of my other videos, I go into my skincare journey. I used to have horrible skin and I still have scars and just from having terrible skin and acne and I mean, just breakouts. It's been a long journey, let me tell you that. Blue Botanicals Chibula Active Serum. This is beautiful. Uh, I love, it's just a really light oil. 
more like a gel than an oil. This is actually coming today, supposedly. So I just, you know, I use up every last drop of my products. No lie. Huh. I'm glad that's coming today because this is done. It's like, uh uh, I don't want to give you no more. Right after that, I go in with my Pure Radiance Oil from the same True Botanicals. I really enjoy True Botanicals. I would love to get the body care. They have a bath, a body scrub, a lotion, a shower gel. I, they have this kit that eventually I'll purchase. But uh, I mean, I love their products. What I love about True Botanicals is they're very climate conscious uh, they're clean organic uh, sustainable i mean just overall the brand's a really nice brand and their products are really nice as well i would like to try the firming serum they have but right now i don't need any more skincare products body care yes i'm gonna buy that little body care pack so but uh yeah this is a pure radiance oil uh, almost set to get a new bottle pretty soon I just do, I don't know, four or five drops. After applying my oils, this is also when I take another quick break, let my skin adjust. And because I have no eyebrows, girl, you know I have to draw them on. And I'm not going to be filming that because I I don't even like how I do my own eyebrows. I'm back, yes. Don't hate on my eyebrows. I cannot wait till I get them microbladed. Some days are better than others and today is not very good. Anyways, let's go to moisturizer. We are almost done, I promise. So oh, the first moisturizer I go into is the Ator Restoration Cream. Beautiful cream, beautiful texture. I do a nice good two pumps, beautiful. It's such a silky cream. This brand is amazing. I cannot wait. So I try a couple more products. They have a mask that I'm in the process of purchasing. Then I go in with my Augustinus Bader, the rich cream. This is the cream that went viral. It is a really nice cream. Uh, would I say it's rich? A little bit. I mean, it's really not all that thick, but it is nourishing. You can feel your skin being nourished from this. It goes well right over the tour. My going to is my La Paris Skin Caviar Cream. La Paris has the best scent. It's not over, overly scented. It's just a luxurious, beautiful scent. And the texture is just in between super rich and light glides on like a dream it soaks in so quick just gorgeous once the sleeping mask is actually the first leopardy item I owned and within a week I had ordered the retinol oil and the day cream is Sicily, the Sicily Velvet Nourishing Cream. So actually, Sicily was my first super luxury item. Mm, 
love this cream love love so the next couple things uh i like to mix my dr barber sturm uh super anti-aging cream also with the uh, rich cream i love the dr barber sturm creams um definitely medical grade i have a couple different products from their line and i cannot wait to test out a couple different products i would love to get the hyaluronic acid but man i let me tell you it is expensive so i just take a little scoop out of both and i do my little mix i did try the dr barber sturm the super anti-aging line uh, face wash and it just did not clean my face it's just a very very light face wash and i need to wash my face and feel like my face is clean you know what i mean and i actually uh my face broke out from that and i just think it was because my face wasn't being cleaned properly. I would say it's for somebody that, I don't So next, because my skin feels on the drier side lately, I'm going to use the Augustinus Bader Soothing Cream. Uh, I don't always use this, it's not a necessity. But the past week, week and a half, I've been feeling a little dry, so I've been using this. Not too much. So my next cream is my Royal Fern Phytoactive Cream. I am, uh, I'm actually purchasing this and the serum today. I'm super stoked about that. This texture is just so light and fluffy. It's kind of like a whipped texture, but it's nice and thick. I really uh, like the science between uh, Royal Fern. Very uh, nature-esque. But I definitely recommend uh, going on their site and checking them out. I use the Phytoactive Ultra Nourishing Face Mask. It's a sleeping mask sometimes. When I feel like my skin is just super dry all day. So I do have two, three more steps. Uh, I'm going to do my La Mer Eye Concentrate. And what I love about this one is it comes with like a little roller ball. Um, every once in a while I will cool it, but at the same time, generally it stays cool. It's just a steel little ball. And what I love about this cream, you don't need a lot. I mean, that that's even white and that's a scratch my eyes were itching i was trying to get underneath the lashes man so yeah my bad this is kind of hard with my lashes but man i love my lashes let me tell you then you just use the ball
my next product I use is my La Mer Creme de la Creme. This is my ultimate top tier favorite moisturizer I use right now. Um, when I first got this, I was using it as my first cream. But when you think about this, I feel like once you put this on, it protects everything you have on your face. It creates a barrier. So I, after using it for about a month, I decided to put it on as my last product. And I have seen such a difference, I promise you. So I use this as my last step before my sunscreen, of course. And I feel like it protects my skin. It lets my skin get the benefits of all the products I put on but then it protects from all the outside uh, aggressors. That's that's even quite a bit. Okay, so with this product, you cannot put it, I mean, you can, but you're not supposed to put it, this on your face like this. So you want to warm this up in the palm of your hands, right? And so it's clear, completely clear. And then pat that in to your face. This is the best way to use this product. And I could just feel the difference of my skin when using this product. I just don't see myself ever not using this product anymore. My Tula sunscreen uh, has a 30 SPF uh, is my tried and true. I've been using this for years and years. I mean, it's a beautiful product. It's a gel product, so you do not get any white cast. Um, so I'm using this for now just to protect my neck. I have a couple new sunscreens I would like to use, but I'm holding off because I just want this to get better. So yeah, I use a big old glob, man. I love my sunscreen. And this sunscreen leaves such a beautiful blue. I really do feel like anyone of any skin, co skin tone can use this. The smell is not the best, but it does go white quite quickly. Sometimes I've experienced sunscreen where it just smells like straight sunscreen and the smell does not go away and I, I just can't. All right, I do get my ears. I get the back of my hands. Okay, so next we're almost done. So next I go in with my fresh triple action lip serum. This is my third bottle. I do love this lip serum i just do a tiny bit i mean so i do let that dry down and in the daytime i use my fresh rose petal soft uh lip cream uh at night time i use pretty much i use this and i also use the night sleeping mask for this it's the triple action night sleeping mask so i take just the tiniest amount the scent's not overpowering but it's nice roses i'm using my bali body hydrating face sunscreen um, I got this in one of my home sand kits, and I actually do like this. Uh, it does give your skin just a slight glow. And other than that, you know, I'm using my Giorgio Armani Sea Perfume. I try to always buy my perfume in Intense scents because i'm a very intense person so you know i need my little intense scent it's such a beautiful scent and you know i go crazy okay, so that is it we did it we survived 
Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe, comment. Let me know if you like this comment. Even if you want to hate, go ahead. Because I love to read your comments. So, yeah. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.